Blessings, everyone. Um, this is Yanni, the only luckologist, and I want to do a video on ends um, because a lot of clients and this young lady was one. In fact, she will be in two videos, one before, which I don't know when I'm going to post it, but by the time you guys see this one, it'll be weeks later. So she's agreed to do two videos with me. I'm glad all the way from Maryland. Thank you, sis, for coming. Um, as always, you know, if what I'm saying don't apply to you, just keep it moving, save your negative comments to yourself. But if this may apply to a lot of you. So it doesn't matter what length locks you have. A lot of you ask me about, especially people who come to me, you know, Yanni, why is my ends popping? And I've spoken about this a long time ago. I've done so many videos. So that was before anybody even knew who I was. So it's obvious and it's not a problem. I'll have to repeat a lot of my videos, right? I'm saying the same thing, but just might just be worded a little bit differently. So people always ask about your ends. I know some of you are dealing with, let me see if you're seeing it in the video. Yeah, you are. See how her ends look? Okay. Did you have a color your hair? Yes. Bleached. Yeah, bleached it. Right. Okay. So I'm going to tell you why your ends, a couple of reasons why you're happening. This is happening to your ends. First of all, don't panic about it. All right. Let's start with that. It's your ends. Your ends. How long was your locks, your locks when you started? Oh, very short. Yeah. Okay. Grain of rice. Grain of rice. Okay. So that's the point I'm trying to make. So if you're dealing with this and you started with really short locks and your locks grew to like her length or longer and you're looking at your ends and you're like, oh my God, why is this happening? Remember, and this will put your mind at ease, your ends were once your beginnings. So this here started from here. And you have to ask yourself, how much shit happened in your life since then? Kind of like your body. You don't look, and based on your age, you don't look the way you look. If you're like in your 30s, late 30s, 40s, we don't look how we look. <laughs> and we're just talking about that, right? When we were 16, 17 years old, right? So the point is your body change, your hair is going to change just like that. So don't panic about it, all right? What I tell a lot of my clients, seeing that your ends was once your beginnings and it's just growing out as time goes on because you're alive and your hair is supposed to grow. Once this is not thinning, I tell my clients, I'm like, listen, this is not important to me, right? It really isn't. It's all the way to the end. Who really sees that? You're seeing it because you, you're psychotic, <laughs> Right. <laughs> and, you're, <laughs> not and you're just examining all your locks to see my god what's happening now what could cause it see that your locks your ends was once were once your beginnings mm -hmm. right one of the things is that maybe when she started her locks years ago she was doing a lot of twisting mm -hmm. right and they thinned out and the thin part just grew out that's the first way of explaining it then i meet the people where she's a combination of both as you can see her locks, if you guys can see close up, it's a different color, right? It's a little like blonde or something. She had dyed or color. Like she said, she said she bleached her hair, right? And you guys saw me do the video on what bleaching and dyeing does. She did this, she did this many years ago. So what happens? That bleach grew out. It weakened the lock. It just didn't pop off. It just weakened the lock. All right. So. The best way I explain this, that's how I know I spoke about this before. You look at your fingernails, right? And no matter whether you have layers, forces, whatever, our nails chip, right? You know that. Your yeah. nails chip. You would rather your nail chip or you could just pop off the top part. Mm -hmm. If your nail's not as long as mine, just ordinary length nails. You just chip on the top. You're like, ouch, my nail chip, and you pop it off. Versus your nail being pulled from the bed. That's a whole different type of hurt oh and pain. God, yeah. There you go. That's why I say that. You understand what I'm, I'm saying? That right now. Good. <laughs> That's why I said, look at the same thing as you're here. At the end of the day, all of this is dead cells. I could wring this, squeeze it, and she wouldn't even know what I'm doing. The living part of your hair, no matter what type of hair you have, is in your scalp and what's beneath it. That's why this, the scalp, that's why you guys see me always obsessed, and I am obsessed, having a healthy scalp. Let's say, if you go on my Facebook, you're going to see I did a young lady last week. I don't know when you'll see this. It might be weeks apart. And she had blonde locks long before she met me. That was her first time meeting me. And beautiful, healthy hair, but the locks were broken up. And she was like, yeah, I need my hair. I said, well, it's the dye part that is breaking off. At least you have a full head of healthy hair. Okay? When this is happening, now the next question is, and of course I lost it. <laughs> we were just talking about, okay, there we go. When this, here's another one. I'm going to bring it close so you guys can see it. Right? You see it? Good. It's, it's showing perfectly. Right. Jimmy is not here to help me with this video. When this is happening, do not take a nut. That's why we, we, we put this at the side just to show this. Do not take a nut and nut your, your hair from the thin part. 
you're just going to make it worse because what the nut does, it becomes a weight and the nut creates a nut and what happened, the hair is going to rub on each other and it's going to thin it out even more. If it pops off, it pops off. Once this doesn't pop off, you're good. You could pop it off yourself or it just pops off on its own. In fact, while I was doing it here, didn't one pop off? Yep. You didn't even <laughs> notice it. It was like less than two inches long. I'm like, okay, there's the end that was dyed many years ago that popped off. All right. Do not go to a loctician or let a loctician or just any hair provider convince you like, oh, I can fix that. And they take the fake hair and wrap it. That makes absolutely no effing sense because what is going to happen, it becomes a weight. And now your hair is really going to thin. Because not all the time it thins at the end. Sometimes it thins all the way to the middle, right? Because there were some points where it could have been stress. It could have been a deficiency. It could have been an illness. It could have been anything. Remember, your hair tells a story, right? As your hair grows, I can look at my hair and know, okay, that was when I had fibroids taken out. That was anybody, any woman who know what fibroids is, and even men know what it is, know it's a, it's a, it's havoc on a woman's body. So a lot going on with you, but I can tell exactly what was going on with me, what will cause my hair to change or shed or whatever. Okay. And that's another thing that could cause it. Your hair was shedding. You've been going through it your entire life, right? You didn't even notice it. Every man, woman, child, no matter what hair they have sheds. I did that on what makes you shed and the period in which you shed. You shed to create more hair, your body creates more hair cells and it's going to grow back even thicker. Stop letting people convince you that if I wrap the forelocks or the protective, well, there's nothing, just let it go. I say cut your hair, but just let the little end part, and I know she's okay with me doing this. See how quick it was? Boom. And I just doing this, usually I don't pop it off for the client, but just to prove a point, just pop it off. It's all the way to the end. Okay, no nuts, no wrapping of protective or forelocks or extensions. Just focus. Let your lock journey be focused on this. Keeping a healthy head of hair. All right. Now, with that being said, can I tell you around so you can do sure. your you she ready to do her um <laughs> her, her testimony? All right. This is the beautiful Shonda all the way from Hello. Maryland. Laurel, Maryland. Maryland. There we go. Laurel, Maryland. Thank you. Okay. So let me take beautiful teeth, beautiful smile. I can dig it. <laughs> right. Your nose ring looking on fleek. Okay, right. let's go. <laughs> yeah. You're looking hot. All right. <laughs> How was your experience with um coming here? Um from start to finish, it has been absolutely amazing. I had a phone, mini phone consultation with uh Yanni. And she asked me a series of questions. Did you say it was like an interview? Yes. <laughs> related <laughs> over, to, you know, yep. yes, related like to my hair, related yep. to who's doing my hair, all yep. of those things. Um, I've never had anybody do such an in-depth um Yeah, you don't just see me like that. Hair, what the heck? Right, we need to find, hair. We need to see if like, there's a good marriage. If it's, it's a good usually like when can you come in and yeah. that's it <laughs> so all the money that right. right there alone let me i mean after watching so many of her videos and following her for now about five years wow that's how yeah long. yeah about five years now so i already knew but it was it was great it's been great everything right. has been how was your perfect. wash <laughs> let's just say i no longer have to be jealous of all of the people that I've seen, <laughs> Jimmy wash their hair. What did you before. say? What did you say? Uh, what did you came up? What did you never say? had my hair washed like that before ever. Not even by my own mother. Mom, I hope you don't see this video. Mom, don't watch this video. She right. doesn't need it. Never, ever, 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 ever. It was absolutely amazing. He took his time. It wasn't a harsh wash. Um, everything smelled great. My scalp felt like it was just open, like all the way open. Um, but it, it's been great. Everything has been absolutely great. So. Uh, I am glad to have you. You, um, your hair is amazing. Thank you. I love your willow speak. Right. <laughs> right. I won't shave it again. Right. She shaved her. Who the heck shaved her? Oh, I didn't want to start with that. Right. 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 Um, you are very low maintenance, like you said, and you would not be coming back for about six months or more. Right. Right. So you could mm -hmm. even be nine months if you want to. In the meantime, you're just going to let it grow thick and disrespectful. Yep. So I got more here to work with, which is even yes. better. All right. What advice would you give to anyone watching your video right this video right now? Number one, if you haven't booked with Yanni, book with oh, Yanni. Stop telling people that. that. No, every, every no. Time you try to book me. <laughs> Can't take no, everybody I'm down. So, I'm so serious. And I'm saying that because... I, what I really appreciate is the education that comes with 
you know, getting the hair done. It's not just coming to get your hair done, but you are actually being educated on your hair in particular and not necessarily, you know, wondering about somebody else's hair. Okay, well, they yeah. doing this, so I'm going to do this with my you hair. Because you had worries That's, about a lot of yes, things. And, and that was what I wanted. I said, let me go. I, like she mentioned, I came from from Maryland. It was That's a, a little, little bit drive. over a three hour drive. Yeah, about I said, hour. if I leave with nothing else, let this woman tell me mm -hmm. how I can best take care of my hair. So mm -hmm. I don't have to continue watching everybody else's, you know, testimonies about their hair and trying to duplicate that for my hair. And yeah. it doesn't necessarily work. Right. So yeah, book with Yanni so you can learn more about <laughs> your hair. If you and if how you qualify, to, you if remember you we gotta go to the interview. <laughs> right. I know people the watching this interview. right now and they're like, Yeah, I didn't make it. Folks <laughs> 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 like Check. F Yanni and she damn interview. <laughs> do do the mini interview with Yanni. Yes. Be honest with oh, the interview. Yeah, because I can pick that bullshit from a mind. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm glad to have you. I'm looking forward to seeing you. You know, less is more. Yes. You're here. I told you on a scale of one to ten, your hair is like a ten. Yes. Right? Yes. It wasn't even dead. You thought it was dead. Drip this. Just a little bit of dry scalp because it's winter. Okay. That was it. She was <laughs> so was. worried. I was. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, oh God, I got build up. <laughs> yeah, build up. Like, no, it just the dead says just trapped in the locks. Right. Okay. So you guys, um, I think by the time you watch this, I'm gonna you're gonna see her you would have already seen the first part where I talk about the difference with um, just dry dryness mm -hmm. and, de and and dandruff and psoriasis and eczema and all these other scalp problems. Those were the, the ones I was looking for. Right. Yeah, remember I was looking for what's the other scalp problems? <laughs> Got a lot of information in this brain. It's hard to sift it out. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Be free to subscribe, share, like, whatever you want to do. All right, thank you guys for the love. Be blessed. I shake.